Hello, Vinyl Community, and uh, my friends uh, in the sports collecting genre. I've got a really cool video I'm going to be doing pretty much a mashup on. I'm going to be showing everything that I've gotten recently, and I'm going to do it in as quick as amount of time as I can. So, I want to show you all the finds that I've been getting, music and sports related. So, let's do this. Two times this week, I got to go to the local Fort Worth Cats game. They are a single A minor league baseball team. Uh, they were playing the Edinburgh Roadrunners, which is managed by Ozzy Canseco. Ozzy Canseco is the twin brother of Jose Canseco, whom I met earlier this year. Great guy, really talkative. Uh, he will uh, definitely talk with you about baseball. He is not stuck up at all uh, compared to his brother, man. Just really really cool guy so I was really happy to meet him um. I enjoy going to baseball games so I went twice this week it was awesome in doing so I found a bunch of Ranger cards that uh, I have had autographed over the years and I kinda wanted to share them with some folks this is 1988 Bob Brower, of course, he inscribed it. Uh, this one, uh, Funky Diabetic one, Anthony, if you need this, you are more than welcome to have this too. This 89 Tops Bobby Valentine, signed on the front and the back with Paul Point pen. I don't know how that happened, I was a kid. Uh, here's the one that I'm going to send to you, this is the Jose Guzman. He's now the uh, Spanish broadcaster for the Rangers, or he was. Uh, 87 Fleer Mitch Williams back in the day. 88 Tops Oda B. McDowell, even though it's just a piece of paper that I taped around there because I didn't know what I was doing. I was a kid. Then we have uh, 88 Tops Bobby Valentine sign. So, there's that. Uh, a few weeks ago I uh, went to the Rangers versus Yankees game with some friends of mine. I will insert video clip here. <laughs> Pickups. I do have some things that I would like to share. Uh, this is Kirby Puckett's rookie, 85 tops. And thanks to Funky Diabetic One, I also wanted to pick up a autograph Kirby Puckett card. He is no longer with us. It is a sharp looking card. The signature is sharp. It does. After studying his signature, I'm fairly certain that that's his. Um, also at the Fort Worth Cats game uh, against the Edinburgh Roadrunners, I got a chance to meet the Edinburgh Roadrunners Australian pitcher, who's very cool. Uh, his name is Dan Schmidt, number 26, and I got him to sign one of these dummy cards. By dummy cards, I'm talking about these cards that come in the packs that really have nothing on them. Um, I keep those, and in doing that, I would like to thank this next person uh, by the name of Luke Smith Full. Yeah, Luke Smith Full. Uh, he actually sent me uh, Bobby Doerr's address so I could send a TTM through the mail. Uh, for those who don't know, Bobby Doerr is the oldest living Hall of Fame Major League, former Major League Baseball player. He played for the Boston Red Sox. Uh, he went into the Hall of Fame in 1986. And with those dummy cards, I made my own after printing some pictures. Bobby Doerr was kind enough to send me a few of them back. 
uh, marker kind of bled through a little bit on this one, but I take double-sided tape, I put them on the dummy card, and then I place the picture on top so that it gives it the feeling of my own baseball card. And I do enjoy doing things like that, including this. So I made a nice little frame. So again, thank you, Luke Smithful. I do appreciate it. If you guys don't know him, subscribe him. He's got some really cool autograph videos. Uh, so there you have that. Uh, this one, I've never met him in person. I wish that I could. This is a uh, Panini Prism autograph of Derek Holland, who is affectionately known here as the Dutch Oven. Kind of dirty if you ask me, but oh well. Uh, Derek Holland, great ace for the uh, Texas Rangers. Found a Mike Napoli Chrome Rookie card, which I was happy about. And I do have some more sports stuff coming in this week. I did win a bid this morning. I'm super happy about that. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So now on to the music. And if you can't see this, this is a tower of tapes. Tapes have been crazy lately for me. So cheers, VC. Let's do this. And keeping with the sports, I did find a weird Nolan Ryan tape. These are interviews with Nolan Ryan uh, up until like a week before he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. So we have that. We have the motion picture to Cocktail. Tom Cruise. We've got some Tiffany. Got a couple of blank tapes. I needed those. TSOL. I bought this for five bucks at Forever Young Records in Arlington. These guys were a hardcore punk band in the 80s. And then as the 80s came to a close, uh, they turn into, you know, one of those metal bands. I wouldn't say hair metal, but this album is freaking phenomenal. Uh, it's called Strange Love, and uh, I've been jamming to it. It's really good, so got that. Uh, Blues Traveler 4. I didn't have any Blues Traveler in my collection. We have some uh, George Strait, Right or Wrong. Uh, these last two tapes, they were 59 cents each. I said, why the heck not? Now, these next... 20 some odd tapes came from the antique mall that I went to today in Burleson, my old hometown, my old stomping grounds, and a video that Punk Texas is made of going to before. So um, they were $1.50 each, and then the guy uh, had a sell, they were 20% off, so about $1.20 each. And we have Stone Temple Pilots Core, we have Madonna on Breathless, gotta have some Vogue, Aerosmith Pump. Loving an elevator, man. Love that song. Skid Row, and in going with Skid Row, <laughs> I thought I would show this while I had it out. Because you just can't ever, ever get enough of the man from the 80s himself, Mr. Sebastian Bach. So, I got the card now to go with the album. <laughs> so I had to get that. Uh, the California Raisins with Buddy Miles singing the uh, theme song. Uh, it's actually Buddy Mouse. You can look it up. Queens Rock Empire. Didn't have this. Been digging uh, the other album that I have over there. Molly Crew Theater of Pain. Gotta have some smoking in the boys' room. Madonna, Luck of Prayer. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I got this not just because I have it on vinyl, but because I remember this in 1989. It was the tape. My mom had the tape. If you, there is like some kind of perfume or something on these. If anybody else has Madonna Like a Prayer on cassette tape, tell me. Do, do you smell the uh, perfume scented thing on it? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, but let me know. I'm still curious. ACDC, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. I did not have this ever, and I'm so glad I found this is public. Enemy, Yo Bum Rush the Show from Def Jam. So good to have this again. Counting Crows, August, and everything after. Round here. Oh, and Joan Jett. Finally, you got some Joan Jett there, DJ Thunder 1970. So I'm happy about that. I guess that sexiness will grow on me. Who knows? Van Halen from Lawful Carnal Knowledge, or as I like to call the tape. Uh, gotta have some pound cake, man. Um, right now, of course, 
And Gil, man, tell me if there's King's Drummer. Tell me if there's any other good songs in there. You told me about some on OU812, and you were spot on, brother. We got uh, some Fast Times at Ridgemont High soundtrack. Just going to be somebody's baby tonight. Oh, this was so cool, man. Depeche Mode, people are people. Got some more Depeche Mode on tape, man. I'm so happy about that. Uh, artwork, the guy who did the artwork on this is, is pretty well known. I just can't remember his name right now. Duran Duran, Rio. Excellent. Hungry like the wolf, man. Very excited about that. Uh, this is... This is a, a different one. I'm not a Rush fan again, but I did get Rush Presto. This tape is so odd looking. I don't know if it's like some kind of special edition. What the hell it is, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can shed some light on it. It's on a Max Maxwell tape. I don't know. Maybe somebody bootlegged it. That's what the tape looks like. Thomas an original? I don't know. I don't know. I uh, got Van Halen's first one on cassette tape. Very happy about that. New Order Substance. Very happy about that. So I can jam that in the car. And since we're playing Jenga here, last one, but not least, I'm talking about Madonna's first album. So there is that on the cassettes. Now, let's go to the vinyl that I did find. I did find... Ooh, I did find a few vinyl that I was very happy about. Uh, my wife got this for me for my birthday. This is a grill, and I do not say that uh, too easily because I've been looking for this since I was in fourth grade. And we're talking about the Beastie Boys License to Ill. This one is so rare to find in my area. I don't know why, but... It is. It is. So now I have it. I'm happy. Um, we got some Madonna and True Blue on vinyl. All these were half price, so this was two fifty. I got this for the wife. This is the Spaceball soundtrack on vinyl. I thought it was so cool. I mean, it's in really great shape, but uh, I got that for her. Um, Again, with these being half price, I had to grab them. Dire Straits, making moves. Uh, got some Boston. I see a bunch of you guys holding this out, so maybe there's something on there that I'm, I'm missing out on that I need to listen to. Got some uh, Janet Jackson Control. I already have this album, but with this being a dollar, if anybody needs it, just let me know, and we can work out something. I don't know. Uh, Last two, we have Adam and the Ants. This is a promo only of Stand and Deliver. Very interesting cover. I know that he was a very admired artist in the 80s. And then we have Adam and the Ants, Kings of the Wild Frontier, with that kind of crazy looking TV cover, I guess, back when MTV was awesome. Okay, so that is my update with sports, music, and Turner wants to make an appearance. So, everybody, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate my new subscribers. Thank you for doing the video contest, all you guys. We will talk to you soon. We'll talk to you later, VC. Adios.